The city of Springfield is reviewing a complaint from a man who said that his seven-year-old son was pricked by a used needle in a city park. And now tonight, my interview with that father and his son, who is now being treated with antiviral meds. I'm glad you're here for us to share this story with people to try to keep our park safe. Charles Cloud said this past Wednesday was like any other day. He took his kids to this park at the corner of Main and Morris Streets, but this time their visit ended with a trip to the emergency room. He went down underneath the Wiggly Bridge at the going. Under there, I see him standing up and he looked kind of panicky. And then when I was crawling under, um, a needle poked me. I didn't want to tell my dad because I knew we would have to go to the doctor. You were saying that you go out of your way to police the environment that they're playing in, and it's like the one time you don't do your due diligence all the time. Right, and I feel it was my fault. He feels that way because normally he scans the grounds before the boys play. That particular day, though, he didn't. And he said that that's the day that Zachary was pricked in the knee with a used needle. They said the needle might be, might have germs on it or not, or it's just plain. 22 News contacted the city health department twice to talk with Commissioner Helen Colton Harris. She never returned our calls. I also contacted the mayor's office. They confirmed to 22 News that Cloud did in fact file a formal complaint with the city. Cloud also showed me a copy of that written complaint. Little Zachary had this advice for other kids. Tell your parents that um, check the park first, then play, then play. So I asked the mayor's office if they would comment, but they declined for now, saying that they wanted to investigate the incident further.